Hi folks, welcome to the Blue Bomber Report. I'm Sports Editor Steve Lyons. This guy here is columnist Paul Wiesick. Paul, we're at the Bombers practice at uh, Investors Group Field. The team is covering off a win over the Hamilton Tiger Cats last Thursday. This Thursday, they play the Grey Cup champion Edmonton Eskimos. Um, a stiffer test for the team this week? Oh, absolutely. You know, let's remember, geez, that Bomber defense looked pretty good last week. Six turnovers that they forced. That was the difference in the game, I thought. Um, but you know what? They were lined up last week against a backup quarterback in Jeremiah Mazzoli, and it showed. I mean, Mazzoli made not only the forced errors that the Bomber defense threw on him, he made a lot of unforced errors. They got Mike Riley this week. That is a whole different animal. Mike Riley, for my money, is hands down the best quarterback in the yeah. CFL. He's big, he's strong, he's fast, he's mobile, and he's accurate. Everything you want in a CFL quarterback. This is going to be a much more uh, a much more difficult challenge and a much more revealing game, I think, of just where this Bomber team really is right now. The Bombers uh, folks have not won two games in a row since July of 2014. Is that correct? Uh, not sure how many games in a row that's been. Uh, so again, why have they not been able to win two games in a row, do you think? Well, isn't that a good question, right? I mean, at its simplest, I think the answer to that is because they haven't been very good. The same reason why they only won five games at all last year, which was that's simply not a very good team. But it does make you wonder in terms of preparation and things that go beyond the players that maybe go to the coaching staff a little bit, if you consistently, in a span of over 30 games now, win one but then cannot win that second one, that makes me wonder a little bit about what's going on inside the locker room in terms of preparation and so forth. Is there a letdown? Do they get a swagger to them? Geez, they sure shouldn't after just one win. But when it keeps happening over and over and over again, it looks to me like it's a coaching thing more than a player thing, but it's difficult to say. Let's see if maybe this is the one. Maybe they finally pull it out and can come up with two wins in a row. But I'll tell you what, um, this team has played very poorly the last couple seasons against the Edmonton Eskimos and Mike Riley in particular. Um, this is a big ask out of this Bomber team this week. Okay, you mentioned the defense. Now, the offense showed some signs last week. I mean, they moved the ball. They got a position to score some touchdowns. got some points on the board. The offense will need to progress a little bit more this week as well, I would think, right? You know what? The defense doesn't force those six turnovers last week. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers lose that game. That offense, quite simply, was not good enough to have won that game. Now, they got a Herculean effort out of their defense, and that was, let's face it, the difference. We've seen this again and again out of this Bomber team. They get these high completion percentages, but it's for low yards. It wasn't good enough in the first two games to win. It wouldn't have been good enough last week to win, but for the effort of the defense. Now, hey, it's a team game, and every now and then, one part of that team needs to step up. The Bomber defense did that last week. But if your recipe for victory the rest of the way is, well, we'll just get six turnovers out of our defense every game, that's not going to work. The offense needs to step up. Once again, folks, the Bombers play the Grey Cup, defending Grey Cup champion Edmonton Eskimos right here at IGF Thursday evening. Game time is 7.30. Talk to you.